legend around the MCG. And as always, there's a loser. But you can never call the Brisbane Lions losers. Let's get to Andrew Marr. Thanks for him. Thanks very much, Otto. I'm trying to get to the big fella, Warren Treadray here. Massive scenes down here, as I'm sure you can imagine. Warren, how good does it feel, mate? Oh, oh it's great. Um, You've just won the AFL Premiership, mate. You've just uh, won the flag. It doesn't seem too real out here. We, are. we knew our best was good enough, and today we proved it. It sounds arrogant, but we knew their legs were going to... They struggled last week, the last 10 minutes. They didn't run, they held on to the game. And, you know, we'd have, we'd have pretty good preparation in terms of dry weather and everything. And, we knew the legs would get us there, and Andrew Russell and his fitness staff and Chuck Howell done the training, and to the end it pays dividends. But you won a flag for Port Adelaide and the SA NFL about seven years ago. This has got to be better than that. Yeah, they were 17, and everything was great, and I could get into a nightclub today. Probably the boys are going to rule the nightclubs. Fantastic, Evan. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Warren Treadray letting his guard down. The emotions, as always, boiling over in the middle of the MCG. Gavin Wanganeen, as we said, he was here with us in there, looking yeah. very emotional. The Bittersweet captain. moment, I guess, for him. He and Josh Franco on the sidelines, which makes the achievement even greater from this Port Adelaide side. They were wrecked with injuries early in the year. They got it all together. They went into the grand final with 12 out of 13 wins. It's 13 out of 14. Since the halfway mark of the season, they haven't put a foot wrong. And they thoroughly deserve their premiership. And it's just, as you mentioned, Hunter, nine players have come from other AFL lists. You've got players like Brendan Laid, who broke his leg twice. Michael Wilson has had two knee reconstructions. So many of these players have done it hard. And congratulations to Mark Williams, his coaching staff, and his players. The moment has come and gone for Brisbane. It will never come again. The streak's been broken. Port are the champions. We now have great pleasure in inviting former Port Adelaide champion and Hall of Fame member John Cale to present the Premiership Cup to the captain Warren Treadray and the coach Mark Williams. that's believed in Port Adelaide for the last 120 years. Also, I'd like to thank the Lions. Obviously, I had a, a lot to do with the start of them, and I'm very uh, proud of the way that they've uh, finished up. They're a wonderful side. And the reason it tastes so good today is all because of the way the Lions have set up the, their dynasty. They're as hard as hell to beat, and it's as sweet as hell to beat them. We play well because of them. Also, I'd like to thank the AFL for being the AFL. There is a couple of mentions I'd like to make. Certainly our, our major sponsor in Vodafone, and Alan Scott, you are wrong. You've just won a premiership. Can you believe it? No, I can't. It's, uh, I thought I'd got rid of all my tears last week, but uh, I thought at my age I was maybe not going to get the chance to get hold of one of these. And uh, to see it now, it's just unbelievable. You saw your family and your twin brother, Shane Wakeland. Yeah. Nice to share it with him. I mean, your family's everything. They see you every step of the way. And uh, for them to be here and I'll catch up with them in the rooms, it's a very special day for me. And Matthew Primus, I saw you together there for quite a while after the game. How did you feel for him? Yeah, he's one of my best mates, and uh, I would have loved to, loved for him to be out there today, but uh, the circumstances didn't permit, and uh, he's a great leader for our club, and he's got us to where we are today. Well, go and celebrate. Have a big Thank one. You. Andrew Barr. Thanks very much, Christy. Damien Hardwick, what a way to go out. It's unbelievable, to be honest. I still, still hasn't hit me. It's just... Look, to, to beat the best is just fantastic for this club and just shows it's been a massive three years and just the amount of pressure that was on us and to get over the line today, 
probably the best feeling I've ever had in my life, to be honest. And it means a lot more to me today than, than probably the Essendon one because we had to work so hard to get it. And it's just been a terrific result. You've been lucky to spend so much of your time at two of Australia's most powerful sporting institutions, Essendon and now Port Adelaide. What is it about this footy club that makes it so significant? Oh, uh, look, just the character of the blokes, I think, to, to come back and... You see, Shoko makes tough decisions like Josh Marnie comes in and probably didn't have his greatest day today, but you know, to pick guys like that who just want to play football and just win is just a terrific result and sums up Port Adelaide. I think it's a it's a club bred on character and determination, and that's how we played today, which is fantastic. Right, character's a word for, a byword for Damien Hardwick. Well done. Thank Congratulations. You. Over to Christy Moldhouse. Thanks, Andrew. Well, Gavin Wanganin, you won a premiership 11 years ago. You've just done it again. Oh, look, uh, getting on a bit now and uh, to experience a winning grand final at the end of my career. Words can't describe how I'm feeling now and look, uh, it's so hard to win a premiership at that, so what, oh, look, I, I can't really describe it. It's one of the best, obviously my best football memory, no doubt about it. And the family seem to be enjoying it as well, your, your children yeah, are here celebrating. Great, great for little Texie here to be a part of it, one day we can look back on it and uh, it was a great team performance and uh, you know, we were the underdogs. Everyone wrote writ us, writ us off. I mean, there wasn't too many tipsters picking us, were there? So uh, we knew we had that inner in belief and we had that run in our legs. We got them and thank goodness for that. Alone in the middle of a now eerily quiet and almost completely deserted MCG, the men who will now be forever known as Port Adelaide's history makers shared perhaps the most memorable moment from a truly unforgettable day. After their historic victory, the players enjoyed...